Hello YouTube, Mr. Man here. Well, I knew it wouldn't be long before I was making one of these videos. EDC. This is my everyday carry, or EDC if you didn't know. Sorry, EDC stands for everyday carry in case you didn't know that. Anyway, this is pretty much what I carry on a uh, an everyday basis. Um, some stuff I do change out a little bit. Um, normally my knife, I keep on a keep updating it, but uh, I've changed that quite a few times. Um, but most of the stuff pretty much stays the same. That's what I've been carrying for the last little bit. Anyway, um, so let's start out with uh, well the knife since that's probably that's not the most exciting part. But uh, anyway, Spyderco Endura Four. This is the oops can't open up that good. Full flat ground blade, VG10. That's uh, that's a good knife. I like it. Keep it nice and sharp. That's in my right front pocket. Uh, we'll go with the uh, front pockets first. Okay, that's in the uh, right front. Then in my left front pocket, I got a uh, Zippo. Sometimes it's filled, sometimes it's not, but you know, uh, Zippos are good. Um, and a handkerchief. This one's getting kind of dirty, but you know, just standard handkerchief. Never know when you need it. I need it to, well, sorry, never know when you'll need it. Uh, comma, or pause. I needed it one time to, uh, what do you call it, to clean out a mailbox when it was wet because I had to put a letter in and the mailbox was <laughs> soaking wet. So that came in handy. That was one thing I'm glad I. I was carrying. Um, all right, so that's in the two front pockets. Now moving on to the back pockets, I got my wallet, just a you know, standard trifold wallet. Um, I believe it's made by Wenger, is it? It's this genuine letter. Um, and now my back uh, right pocket, I got the uh, a little knife. This knife came with the uh, the wallet. This little Wenger knife, you know, just kind of simple blade. Oops, came okay, on. It's a blade, like bottle opener and flathead screwdriver, and then uh, oops, where is that here? And just two pick and a uh, little pair of tweezers. Um, yeah, I carry this around. This is a little bit, uh, you know, it wouldn't scare people as much uh, if you need a knife than pulling that thing out, um, pulling the endure out. Uh, this is something I probably am gonna stop carrying soon. It's a little here we are. It's a little set of lock picks. That's a tension tool here, and then uh, this you unscrew it, pop this up, and then you got all your uh, little lock pick picks. Here, let's see how many are in here. There's four. Looks like there's four different picks. Um, I am oops. Oh, five. Sorry, I think I was missing one. Let's see here. You get the idea. There's like five in there. Um, I'm not good at picking locks at all, so I probably don't. Oh, there we go. So I probably don't need to carry this, but. You know, I don't know, I just got it in my pocket because it's not that much in that back right pocket except the you know, these two things and my uh, Fisher Space Pen. If you can see, I have to shell Fadless for a while. I don't know where can you see on the clip there? It says Space. This is one of the um, one of the Fisher Space Pens that take the, or no, sorry, all Fisher Space Pens take uh, these pressurized refills so they can like write under water in cold and, you know, and they last a long time. I don't. I think I've ever had to replace ink on this one. You know, just standard, you know, cap, you push the cap, yeah, you know, you stand the pen. Anyway, um, so that's my pockets. Now moving on to my belt, let's start, and, well, yeah, we'll start from the right, kind of going around again. Um, that's where I carry my Letterman Blast multi tool. I'm not going to show you all the sheets that I carry the stuff in, just because, um, you know, <laughs> that would take a long time. But, so, you know, pretty much in here you got everything. Um, What's nice about this is it got a pair of scissors, so I always got a pair of scissors on me, because that's nice. And then it got you know your file screwdrivers and stuff, hard wire cutters, pliers, all that good stuff. Um, so that's on my right side, and right behind that I got my keys. You know, just standard keys. Got a handcuff key on there, house key, stuff, car key, you know, everything. Um, and right here I got a, what's that? A Photon Freedom Micro. Some I need to change the battery in this. Whoops. But you know, it's just a little keychain light. It, it's good. It, um, you can hold the button down here and it'll dim, and you can let go and it'll stay at that brightness. But if you hold it for long, you'll have just a a beacon here. Hang on, it'll blink again. It should. There we go. But then you hold it again, and then you got a little faster beacon. Hold it down again, and you almost got like a strobe here. Um, that's not blinding, but um, 
and you hold it down even more, and then you'll get like an SOS. So, it's nice. I mean, the battery, I don't know, it's lasting me like forever. So, there's the keys. Um, that's my belt. And on the other side, I got my Surefire. This is the left side. E2D Executive Defender. This is more like my emergency light because it got the, uh, the striking bezel on here. And uh, I don't use it that much because... If I can unscrew it here. There we go. I don't use this really for everyday tasks because um, it takes the... Uh, uh, lithium 1-2-P batteries, I believe they are. Yeah, 1-2-P-A. Um, but it seems like when these batteries die, it just, the light, it, it's not, it doesn't really go dim or anything, it's, the light's just dead. So, I like to keep those batteries fresh, but then one light that I do use every now and then, the Quark AA Tactical by 4-7s. Um, this is nice, I got the two, uh, the two modes, since you can set um, two modes on the light by twisting the head, I got bright mode, or the brightest, and then strobe. Um, maybe sometime I'll get around to review on this, but, um, because there's a ton of other programmable modes you can have for this, like, lower lights and stuff, but I just like this, it's, uh, it takes, where, let's back screw off here, I keep forgetting these lights, sure if I had a front screws off, Clark, the, uh, back screws off, and, you know, what's nice about this light is it just takes, um, double A, so those are, those aren't really expensive at all, you can find them, like, anywhere, come on, get on there. Eh, that's a square fitting on here, that's nice. But yeah, this got your momentary on and off, so, you know, you can just, like, blink it in someone's face or turn on the strobe for a second or, you know, whatever you want to do. That's great. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, and every now and then I do have a watch on. This is a, uh, I don't know if you can see, I got a Citizen's watch. It's ticking, yeah, it's ticking. Um, day, day, just, you know, really simple. It's like, yeah, it's, I believe it's stainless steel. This got your clasp on the back is a citizen, you know, push button deployment. Um this is like a fifty meter water resistance. You know, it yeah, it's nice. Um not overly big. I'm thinking maybe about, you know, getting a G shock sometime, but those are a lot bigger than this. But mainly um those I'd be looking at because they light up. So at least when you can't see at night. It doesn't really got like any illumination whatsoever. It's like nothing on the hands or stuff, but still, I mean it's nice. It, it looks like a nice dressy watch kinda. Um, so yeah, let's see, that's pretty much it. Um, the thing that I update the most, or like that I've switched around prior to most of carrying all this stuff, is, um, my knife. Now, at first, this is nuts, oh, sometimes I do still carry this, but a, uh, cold steel Koboom. Every now and then I will carry this, um, you know, if I'm wearing a coat or something, because the advantages this would give you if you ever need a large knife, I mean, it's, this is amazing, but it's hard to, uh, hard to have on when you just got on a, um, like, you know, a shirt and, like, normal pants, because it's really, it's hard to conceal like that. I'm, I have done it, but it's not that comfortable. But after that, I upgraded huh, upgraded to a folding knife, if you can call it folding, which is this, the uh, Kamara. But now the problem with this, this is a, uh, a butterfly knife, and while, uh, to the best of my knowledge, these aren't illegal where I live. I mean, they're perfectly legal, like I said, to the best of my knowledge. Um... You can't really get this out if you need it quick, um, and that's when, that's where the Endura comes in. This, you know, the lockback design and everything. It's this is probably this is my best choice. Um, not saying I'm not going to get another knife, maybe then like in the future an upgrade or something. Um, but this is just why it's this is the best all around right now. Another thing that maybe every now and then I will toss in my pocket is this little thing, the CRKTM 16 10KZ. I got that memorized like crazy. Um, just because, I mean, I, I like this. Maybe it's not um, the it's not the biggest knife that you got. I mean, because it is kind of tiny. But just that, I, I just like opening and closing this. It's like, I'm not good at closing these one-handed, though. But like that, it's just, this is crazy fast. Anyway, um, so that's my EDC. I just <laughs> finally got around to doing one. Everybody does, it seems like. Everybody seems like they do one of these on YouTube, like, sooner or later. So I figured it might not be now. Anyway, um... Hope you have a good day. Uh, Mr. Man, out.